You see how this reminds you of a friendly face? It's warm and it's playful and inviting and it needs to say hello. He was the man credited with creating and then saving Apple. Oh, and along the way, he brought the world the iPhone. Since the death in 2011 of Steve Jobs, many movie studios have tried bringing his story to the silver screen. A new film titled Steve Jobs is out next month, and its screenwriter Aaron Sorkin is already dealing with criticism. Apple CEO Tim Cook called films like this opportunistic, something he rejects. It's not uh, opportunistic. Uh, uh, Tim Cook hasn't seen the film. Uh, yet or, or, or hadn't when he made that comment uh, uh, on Colbert. Uh, nobody signed up for this movie uh, uh, to get rich. Uh, uh, it's, it's just not that kind of movie. Uh, so uh, I hope that when Tim Cook sees it, he enjoys it as much as I enjoy his product. The film offers a view into the personal relationships of the late Steve Jobs, played by Michael Fassbender, and takes place across a number of Apple product launches, something the film's director, Danny Boyle, says Jobs radically changed. He, he revolutionized half a dozen industries. I mean, literally revolutionized half a dozen industries. Phone, computer, desktop publishing, animation, you can go on and on. But one of the things he revolutionized was presentation, product presentation. I mean, these launches are now ubiquitous. Everybody's doing them the whole time. And it also profiles his often tumultuous relationship with former Apple CEO John Scully, played by Jeff Daniels. They never reconciled. And in Act 3, we at least have a fictional meeting where they come together one last time. So I'm hoping that John will be appreciative of what Aaron did there. Steve Jobs, the movie, is out on October 9th. Phil Hahn, CNBC. You're going to end me, aren't you? You're being